Yeah, no, that, you know, obviously uh, the leadoff hit, uh, the inning sending Jeffers back out there, we still needed uh, for him to, to be able to go out there and collect some outs, had Claudio ready for, for the left-handers once we don't get the, the out there. And then the, the hit by pitch was really, uh, I mean, it was part of the inning, but, uh, you know, set up a situation with, with the multiple base runners, um, was able to record a, a couple of outs, the strikeout, the ball back to him. Uh, you know, and then it's a situation where, uh, you know, you let him face Ricky Weeks, the right-hander, uh, you know, veteran hitter uh, against Claudio. Um, all of our matchups uh, tell us that uh, Barnett versus Rasmus is is a better matchup in that situation. We, we knew that we were going to get, get Rasmus in that situation. Still felt good about the matchup. We tried to make a pitch, an unexecuted pitch. Uh, looked like a breaking ball out over the plate that Rasmus ambushed into the gap for a double. But still, I mean, even even at that, that situation there with um, walking Kiermaier uh, to set up the, 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 the matchup for for him against Beckham, uh, we still felt that that was that was good spin spin guy. We uh, we missed with a with a cutter and then uh, looked like it was a, a cutter flat across the the uh, plate that Beckham put a good swing on to hit it out of the ballpark. Uh, but yeah, I mean it, again the seventh inning is it has been uh, something that we like to forget all year long. We've got to find a way to get through that seventh inning and record some outs and. And, and continue to, to, to shut down the, the innings and get us in a situation where we have the lead so we can get it to uh, the two guys at the back end that have been successful.